Okay guys, so we're gonna walk through the Raven 440 and how it works. So in order to completely clear your Raven controller, you're gonna turn it off. You're gonna hold down on the CE button and turn it on at the same time. What we just did is we just cleared all of the settings and we started fresh on the backside settings. So the first thing it's gonna ask you is, are you in US volume per acre? The answer is yes, so we hit enter. The next one is our speed source. To scroll through this stuff, you'll hit the CE button. To select, you'll hit the enter button. So we wanna to scroll to radar because we're using an Astro uh, speed sensor. Enter. The next one it's gonna ask us is what kind of a valve do we have? Well, in this system, we're using a liquid uh, standard valve with a valve cal of 2123. So we're gonna scroll. It's not a fast, it's not a PWM, it is a standard valve. Enter. Most liquid systems have got a standard valve unless you have a PWM controller on your hydraulic pump. Okay, so we just finished all of the backside settings. You see how it's flashing cow? It will flash cow until everything required is entered. So we're gonna start over here on number, uh, on the boom cows. So we're gonna set up our booms. And in this particular one, we have got three booms. So boom cow one, we're gonna hit enter you always have to hit enter to allow you to enter in a number. We're going to do um, just 120 inches. This is always in inches, so 120, enter. So now we scroll down to uh, boom number two, enter. One, two, zero, enter. Boom number three, enter. One, two, zero, enter. So our boom cows are now set up. It's a three section, 120 inches per one. Now we go to our valve cow. And you're gonna to have to zoom out for this, Cody. But the valve cow is found on the valve itself. Well, right here is our standard valve. Valve cow, two, one, two, three. That's gonna be true for all standard valves using a Raven. Now, if you were a PWM valve, it would be 43. If it were uh, a fast valve, it would have the sticker on there, maybe 743. So we're gonna hit enter. Um, oh, I'm sorry, we're actually on speed, but let's do valve right now. So let's go over here to, yep, I got it. So we'll go over here to valve cow. So we just determined that it is 2123 valve cow. We'll go back to our speed cow. Our speed cow, because we're using an Astro speed sensor, that is going to be written in the book with your Astro. It is typically 783. And you can adjust this number until the speed on here matches the speed of your tractor. Your meter cow. Cody, let's zoom out again. We can show them the meter cow. Right here is our flow meter. It's got the little wire coming out of the center. This is the turbine that reads flow. And if you look there, meter cow, 1,330 gallons. And so we got to enter that in there, 1,330. So meter cow, enter, 1,330, enter. Valve cow, we already did, 2,123. Rate cow, 1, enter. I want to put down... 30 gallon um, to the acre. So when you're doing your rates, you always gotta make sure you hit an extra zero because of this decimal point. So three, zero, zero, enter. And you can see a lot of guys get caught up right here. They say, well, I entered everything in, but it's still flashing cow. You always have to enter in an alternate uh, rate to cow. So enter in my alternate is going to be 20, two, zero, zero, enter. So now you see when I did that, the cow went away and now it reads rate. So now let's see if everything we have done 
is working properly. So if we turn the master on, what you're hearing, zoom out Cody so they can see, we've got our three section, three section valves here. So if you look, um, you should be able to see, can you see that? Mm -hmm. So come back here to the screen. We've got our three section uh, switches up here. So if I turn them all on, one through three, all three valves just turned. Okay, so from there, what we can do is we can check our flow meter or our, our control valve. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw this into manual, turn it on, increase, decrease. Can you see it moving? So what we're doing, I'll show you right here how to test this. Come back here to the screen, Cody. You turn your rate down to manual, turn your master on, and hit the increase and decrease buttons to get that butterfly to move. So now another way that I like to run tests is with the self-test. What a self-test does is you can enter in a speed here. So self-test zero. We hit enter, five, zero, enter. That gives us a speed of five miles an hour. And this is a good way to test your system before you go out to the field. So what should happen is the section should open and the, and the control valve will start to turn based on what the flow meter is seeing. And if I blow into the flow meter, I would be able to get it to turn. So it's trying to open, trying to open, trying to get right. Pretty soon, it started beeping at me because this valve was opening more and more and more, and it was not getting any feedback on the flow meter. So it's all a system on how it works. So when I am at my run screen using the Raven, what I like to do is I'm going to set my self test back to zero. And then I'm going to, this is my run screen right here. It shows my actual rate and it shows my speed. And that speed is the speed that you're driving through the field. So when you turn it on, it starts trying to apply based on what the flow meter says. So that is how to set up a Raven 450 from scratch. Again, to start over, you would hold down on the CE and turn it on. It would erase all the settings we just did. Now, there's one way that we can check our backside settings. Let's say, for example, you're not sure if you entered in a standard valve or a fast valve, or if you want to check if you did a, a radar. You press and hold on this self-test, and you see that flashing on there? Mm -hmm. That is your backside settings. You did SP2, standard valve and US units. See that flashing? If you would hold this long enough, roughly 30 seconds, you would be able to see that? It just stopped. So now I can scroll through this and change. Units US, enter, speed sensor. I want SP1 maybe instead of SP2. And on valve, maybe I want to change it to a fast close valve right there enter so that's how you would change that if you move if you were to move this raven maybe over to an anhydrous system that has got a different style of control valve so that's the basics of the raven and uh, the basis of this video so tune in for more raven videos